the, the traditional intellectual departmental boundaries at universities are increasingly meaningless. And, and they are really pretty much relics of the 19th and early 20th century, right? So uh, before maybe the late 20th century, it wouldn't have made sense to have a, a bioengineering department, right? That'd be like theater, dance, and physics, <laughs> which would be a great department, by the way. I'd want to major in that. <laughs> um, but a lot of these boundaries were artificial, and they were also built when the fields were in their, I don't want to say infancy, but when they were in their you know, earlier development. Uh, and people didn't realize that to have uh, engineering principles applied to biological problems is really important. I'm just throwing that out as an example. Um, and so, so that's a great development that's going to continue. And so to see interdisciplinary, a philosophy of that built in, I think is terrific. It's really neat to see around here. Like as I walked the hallways, I was thinking, oh, this must be the area where the biologists are. And then, no, there's somebody in information systems. And so I, I guess that's deliberate. I didn't ask. But I like the fact that uh, people are all intermeshed.